Hello friends, Russell here. iRacing's executive producer, Greg Hill, gave some more insights on the new weather developments coming to the sim. On Thursday night's broadcast of the Race for More 2.4, Hill added more detail and included some interesting video footage not shared before. Look at the videos and focus on the clouds moving. This shows how rain will be localized. Also, as I showed you the screenshots later, look at the different sorts of clouds that are being shown. Now localized rain means that it's likely that there will be some rain in areas and quite dry in other areas. Look how puddles build up and then disappear. Also look at the different racing lines that are being used by the drivers and when the sun comes out how the track starts to dry and you start to see some dry patches. These videos clearly show that rain tires are well into their development. Now, Greg did point out that the spray, the video effects, is just a placeholder, so there's still things that they're clearly working on. But overall, it shows that rain is well into its development. I expect they're aiming for season one of 2024. This would fit in with the busiest time on the service, and it's also right after when most iRacers renew their membership in the autumn meaning it'll be good incentive for people to renew their membership. So if you haven't tried iRacing, now is the time to maybe start to think so. Now look at the screenshots here. They also highlight the progression that's being made uh, over the last year. Now, a year ago, reflections were an issue. In this screenshot, you can see the surrounding area is being reflected. So that's something that has developed. Also, look at the car here. Now, a year ago, they couldn't get rain or water to appear on the car. Well, that's clearly now been developed. But many questions still remain. How exactly are drivers going to be informed of the weather and the forecast weather? For example, if you're driving out of the pits in the dry, how will you know if it's raining elsewhere on the track? Now, real life drivers would also get updates from the team. Will the spotter give weather updates to the driver? Now, custom tooling and UI elements have been mentioned, but in this recent update, nothing has really been shown. Also, what series will get rain? Will there be anything to help rookies learn to drive in the rain? Could there be a specific license for rain? Now, if I've missed any questions that you want answered, or if I've missed anything in these updates, then please let me know. Put it down in the comments below. But we can start to see how other updates now fit into this new weather that's coming to the sim. Recently, a few months ago, we had an update to track polish. Now track polish, combining in with the rubbering system on the track, will mean that wet conditions will dramatically affect the line that you need to take around the track. And that racing line will also depend on how bad the conditions are. We've also been shown here that we're getting an update to curbing, with 3D curbs being introduced. Now obviously, flat curbs will be a problem because they could potentially collect rain and collect water, standing water. 3D curbs should hopefully mean that water will only be held in the troughs of the curbs and not the peak. And even in the dry, these curbs are going to affect how we're going to drive. But what can we do now to get ready for rain? Well, we already have some key tools that are going to help. Now, when you load into a session, you can have a look under the information at what the track rubber is like and see how rubbered in the track is. Now, this is going to be important to look at because if it, if it rains, you will know how slippery potentially the racing line is going to be. Also, using the delta is going to help. If you don't use the delta while you're driving, well now is the time to get into the practice of doing so. Particularly checking the delta just before you brake for a corner and then checking it again when you're about to brake for the next corner. This will help when you're testing out different lines and seeing which lines work in the current conditions. Now it's very exciting because this is all going to be dynamic. Weather system is going to be dynamic, it's going to be changing all the time, which means you're going to have to be constantly evaluating what is working when you're out there on the track. Try now, when you are racing on different circuits, to spot where corners may have puddles build up on the inside because you're going to want to avoid any standing water because as Greg has explained, hydroplaning is going to be possible. Now is the time to start to know where the corners are where you can really test the grip in wet conditions. You want to start looking for corners that are not too fast but have plenty of runoff. And we're talking about runoff that's not grass, by the way. Now, if you're not one for practicing alternate lines, then now is the time to really start to get into the habit of doing this. The rubbered in line and the non-rubbered in line are going to feel really different in wet conditions. So knowing alternate lines in advance is going to help you to test non-rubbered lines and see what is quicker in the wet. Really, this is the first thing that you need to be doing 
when it starts to rain. So that make sure that you're not leaving time on the track, that you are still pushing to the limit. In the wet, you want to look for lines where it helps the car understeer rather than oversteer. So you can start doing that now, but also giving a thought if you're in an open setup, do I know how to dial in a bit of understeer into the car? In the wet, it can often be beneficial to pause on the accelerator as you're exiting the corner, as you're driving over that rubbered in line. You could practice doing that right now. Also what you could practice is making exits on corners much more straight. This will help the car and help you go faster. Now, I'm no racing expert, so a lot of these tips of wet river driving have been taken from Driver61. He's done a brilliant video. I'm gonna link it if you wanna go and look for more detail. Rain is going to be a great introduction into iRacing. It's going to be a really exciting time as the whole community really learns how to adapt to new conditions in the sim. So it's a great time to maybe think about starting to join iRacing if you haven't done so already. It's going to be a massive learning curve for the most of us as most of us don't have real life racing experience. But make sure that you don't get called out. In these few months that are left before rain is introduced, now is the time to start preparing. Otherwise, you could be left behind on the track. Now if you enjoyed this video, why not check out the suggested video on screen.